Hello everyone. So this question is interesting on the community and uh, there was a similar question that I answered and I also made a video. In fact, a couple of vid videos on this topic. Now this question is that, let us say you have a rule which is doing a lot. Let us say uh, you have a rule which is updating some fields and it is calculating some story points and updating some uh, values in linked issues. And uh, then finally, your rule is uh, creating some subtask. Now, um, sometimes when you create uh, such rules and uh, you might encounter uh, problems where uh, your uh, rule, if if you're doing if you're trying to do a lot of things, and uh, if the rule is uh, basically a bit big, uh, or maybe it is doing a lot of things uh, in terms of number of elements that you have had elements, not really elements, but different components, I guess uh, com a component is, is the right word, not Jira component, but basically the number of things that you're trying to do. So sometimes when the rule is big, then uh, it can be a bit problematic to track whether uh, uh, a specific component or action worked or not worked or not not worked and sometimes the rule can itself uh, trigger something else and this is something but that by default is uh, i believe uh, disabled so if the rule is uh, is doing some updates and you have a rule which is based on that update so it won't really go into the loop but there is an option in the rule in the automation rule where you can select this checkbox where you can have uh, one rule that can potentially trigger another rule. So wh what I want to talk about is, let us say you have uh, uh, a situation where you want to delay something based on, uh, let us say you want to do three things and you want to delay the third item. Uh, so there's no way to do it in just one rule. And especially if your rule is too big, then uh, it it is anyways, uh, I mean, you might think that uh, it will it will of course happen in the order it will definitely order happen in the order but uh, there is no you you don't, you don't really know whether uh, the third action or the third update will happen uh, for sure after like 2 minutes or 20 seconds but what you can do uh, to to keep things manageable and this is what i have tried by the way and we and, and by the way we are still trying to use automation rules because we come from jira data center background and we are also trying to uh, understand the capabilities of automation. So what I believe you can do is uh, you can always write two rules. So just break up your rule. Let us say you want to do three things. Uh, so in the first rule, you can do the the, the the two things that you want to do. But in the in the second rule, you can uh, basically, in a way, delay uh, if you want to delay it by uh, maybe applying some kind of a scheduled uh, trigger. So you, you can actually have a scheduled trigger. Let us say you want to do some automation where you have some updates, but the second rule will 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 execute maybe after two days, right? So you can actually use this schedule trigger based on a JQL. Uh, let me show you something. If you go to your automation rule, and by the by the way, this is annoying. I mean, I can't for some reason go to automation directly now uh, because it is not really appearing here. So I need to go to my this system menu on top and then I have to go to the global automation which is annoying because I don't really want to like click multiple where is where is automation come on let me just search for it automation yep it is somewhere here so if you click on automation global automation you can then uh, find your rules yeah so it took me like few seconds and five clicks to reach here but anyways so what I wanted to show you is that whenever you create a new rule, you have the option here to check this box called check to allow other rule actions to trigger this rule. Only enable this if you need to execute this rule in response to another rule. So this can be uh, used. Uh, the only problem is that you can, um, you have to make sure that it always uh, uh, so basically make sure that the scenario that you're trying to build using automation, it is not really going to get into a loop. So it should, so the rule should make sense because you can actually 
end up in a in a loop and uh, the rule will not really work and there might be a timeout i think there is like, like some kind of a timeout and the rule will probably stop which is good but uh, you should try to not do it uh, when you're building a, build, building a rule so what you can do is if you have like one rule which is going to trigger another, another rule make sure that you are changing some field value so that you can use that change in the field value to to basically run another rule based on a jql because jql can then uh, pick up those changes if if let us say you're changing let us say a date no 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 maybe maybe a date field maybe a custom field but maybe you want to if it is a date field then you can check uh, whether this happened two weeks ago or two days ago and when you when you want to create another rule you can actually have like a schedule uh, rule and this is of course going to run uh, based on a, let us say a jql um, where uh, you want to uh, you, you want to basically do something on those issues or basically you want to make sure that uh, uh, this rule will work on these issues based on uh, the criteria that you define here in the jql so this can also be used and uh, the problem is n not a problem because we are using automation rules on jira cloud you have to basically find these different ways of working to solve your problem and i think we are getting there uh, Jira Cloud is, of course, when, when, it, when it comes to automation, you can't really do each and everything easily. You have to basically find out a way. But this might be one option if you really want to have like a delayed execution of something. All right, that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.